Hey guys, welcome to another video. And you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is this? And yeah, you are 100% right to ask yourself that. This is Minecraft, and everything you see around me right now is a randomly generated world. <clears throat> I seem to have started uh, near some water and some sand, and in a small pit of some sort. Um, but yeah, this is a completely randomly generated world. It is different for everybody who plays the game. There are um, single. This is the single player version, and this is my very first time playing this game. Uh, I haven't played this game before. Um, I have a friend who plays it, and he was nice enough to give me some pointers. And I've watched a couple of online tutorials, and that is all I know about this game. The reason I wanted to record my very first time playing it is because I wanted you guys to uh, experience the journey with me. Uh, I plan to play quite a bit of this game because it is very open-ended and it looks very fun to play. So, what is Minecraft? Well. Let me explain it to you this way. Those are all little animals you see wandering around, like a little chicken there, rooster or whatever. But um, that thing right there is the sun. That big square in the sky is the sun. And it is going to, that's the east. It's going to rise up here until it reaches the top of the sky. And that'll be high noon. And then it will sink all the way down to the west and cover the world in darkness, which is nighttime. And yeah, sure, we see a bunch of we see a chicken, we see a pig over there playing around in the water. Um, more chickens or ducks, whatever those are. There's the cow back there, a couple of cows. Sure, we see all these things wandering around right now, and that's all good and dandy. But when nighttime comes around, we're going to be in some serious trouble because at night, you get a whole bunch of uh, really evil things that come out. You get skeletons, you get uh, spiders, zombies. These are just the ones I've heard about. There's, there's bound to be a lot more. This world has all kinds of things to explore and discover, and you can craft a whole bunch of things. And that's what we're going to start off doing right now. See, uh, let's see. The sun is still rising, so it's still late morning right now in the game. And you need to take this time to build yourself a shelter. Because right now I have nothing to defend myself. And if nighttime rolls around and I'm caught out in the open, in the dark, I am going to be royally screwed. So the clock is ticking. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start collecting some wood. This thing you see in front of me here, this is my arm. Get away, chicken. Actually, I want to beat this chicken real quick. Oh, I hit it already. It's already steaming. <laughs> Sorry, chicken. Don't attack me, though. I don't want you to deal damage to me or anything. Um, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect some wood. See, I'll just start beating it with my hand here. Oh, God, I just said I'm going to start beating it with my hand. You guys are so going to leave comments on that. Like, that's what she said. <laughs> okay, I already made it, so. <laughs> anyway, and now I've... Oh, I was just about to say, now I've picked up some wood. But anyway, yeah. This is a wooden block, and... I, it, I've just picked it up right now, so now it's in my, uh, it, it's wielded as sort of like a weapon or a tool, and I'm going to use this to harvest more wooden blocks. And you can see that the wooden blocks have gone down to my little hot bar down there in the lower left. I've got three blocks, and I want to start off with anywhere between 10 and 12. So I'm going to collect some wood from this tree, and this tree is not going to fall, because, you know, this game is pretty cool like that. It's a very open-ended game, and I don't know if I can actually crouch in this game or anything. No, I don't think so. So that means in order to get to that tree trunk, I have to beat down these leaves just like get to the tree trunk. Okay, so here's the tree trunk. And I'm going to collect more of this. This should be enough. I didn't seem to collect anything. I think it fell, but I didn't collect it. Yeah, it fell over there. All right, so we're going to collect more of this. This is just a raw resource. Wood can be used to make wooden planks and sticks, and those can in turn be used to make more uh, more useful things, like workbenches and swords even, and other tools. So I need just a little bit more wood here. I have 12, a little bit more than that. All right, we'll do 13, no, let's do 14. Just a little bit of overkill. I saw this done with 11, I'm gonna do it with 14 because I'm new and I don't want to shortchange myself. And there's the sun. You can see it through the clouds. It is high noon right now, so I've still got plenty of time. The next order of business is to locate some coal, because I need to find a place where I can build a shelter. And I need coal to make a light source. At night, everything gets dark, and enemies in this game will spawn anywhere that it's dark. So at night, this whole place is completely black, 
and enemies can spawn anywhere, and they will. But there are also caves that enemies can spawn in where it's dark, um, even when it's not nighttime. So I need to be careful where I go. Ah, I think that's some coal right there. Yes, that's coal. But coal is very difficult to harvest. As you can see, it's, not, it's barely affecting the block at all as I hit it with this uh, wooden brick. So what I need to do is I need to craft something that I can use to uh, harvest that coal. And I'm getting some frame rate problems because uh, I'm recording and the world is randomly generating, so I'm putting a lot of taxing on my PC. So let's open up my inventory. Now I'm going to take these wooden uh, wooden blocks here, and you can see I have a little crafting square. This is where I'm going to be creating uh, new things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little block, and I'm going to drop a single block by right-clicking into the crafting square. And it says it's going to create wooden planks. All right, so I'll just left-click the planks, and now I've got wooden planks there. So one uh, one brick of wood creates four planks. All right, so if you drop the whole stack in there, it creates four and it creates four, and you can see it's subtracting one each time I click and creating four more planks, and I'm just dropping them over here. I'm going to take all of these wooden blocks and just keep left-clicking, left-click, 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 and I'm just going to create planks out of all those. So now I have 56 planks, and planks are a lot more useful than wooden blocks are. So, all right, I've got these planks, and what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to drop one plank inside this square, and now this creates a workbench. So I'll grab the workbench here, and I'll drop it onto my hotbar, I'll throw away this little plant because I don't know what to do with it yet. And now, using my mouse wheel, I'm going to scroll over to the workbench, and I'm going to drop it right. Oops, yeah, drop it right there. So now that's created a workbench for me. Now, if I right-click on the workbench, I have a bigger crafting square. So now I've got a three by three, which is nine squares. So now what I need to do is I need to create sticks. So I'm going to drop uh, one block there, one block there, and you see if you create anywhere in the crafting square. You can drop those two anywhere. But it's not just two wooden planks that make a stick. See, if I take a stack of two and put it in there, it doesn't create anything. Or if I break this stack up and I put the block over there, it doesn't create anything. They have to be created in the correct pattern. You have to kind of draw the object. Like, this creates a wooden stick because it's just two planks of wood that are vertical like that. So I'm going to create these sticks here. And Actually, I want to create uh, a number of sticks. So one, two, three, four. There we go. I'll create 20 sticks. All right. So now I've got some sticks. What am I going to do with these sticks? Well, I'm going to use them to create a handle. And again, we're going to kind of kind of draw the object we're trying to create. So I'm going to drop these. Well, I'm going to drop one stick here and one stick here, and that kind of creates a handle. And I'm going to take these wooden planks and drop them in like this. So that kind of creates a wooden pick. All right. So I'm going to grab the pick and put it as the first item in my um, hotbar. All right. So now I'm going to scroll over to the wooden pick. And remember how we could not harvest this uh, coal with that wooden block before? Well, now it's a lot easier with a wooden pick. There we go. So now I've got some coal. What upsets me is that this is a very small amount of coal. And uh, I don't seem to have very much... I don't seem to have very much more coal anywhere else. But this should be enough coal. Barely enough coal. And I mean barely, barely. So you know what I'm going to do? Since it's still daytime... I'm going to go look for more coal. To reclaim your workbench, you just destroy it again using either your hand or a tool, and it just safely puts it down there in your little hot bar. So I've got some coal, and that's going to help me create a torch. But I need more coal than this. I mean, I can probably barely survive with two coal, but I think I see more way over there. So we're going to go hunt that down while we still have some daylight. Whoa, I see a lot of stuff over here. And you're not always lucky enough to start near all the resources that you need either. So it could be more difficult for some people than others. This is a whole bunch of stone. That's like rock and stone, but it's not coal. You can tell coal because coal has like black spots in it. Like this. Perfect. And this looks like a really good place to actually build a shelter to start off. So, let's see what time it is in the day. I can't even see the sun through here, so that's kind of bad. Gonna check here. Hop up. Mm. Yeah, I don't know where the sun is, so it might be getting dark very soon. So what I'm gonna come here and do is I'm just gonna harvest this coal, and this will be plenty. This will be enough. Go collect that. And you also want to kind of create a uh, while you're while you're collecting resources, you want to create an area where you can hide yourself. 
Oh yes, it is getting dark now. Okay, so yeah, that, I'm gonna come knock this stuff out. So I've got some stone, some dirt, and I'm gonna come inside here. Just knock a hole into the wall. It's getting dark, and I need to set my crafting bench out now, so I can uh, make what I need to make. So I'm gonna quickly take this. Uh, these wooden sticks and put coal on top. Oh no, sorry, it's one wooden stick and one coal. And there's a torch, torch. Alright, so I've got eight torches. Now what I want to hurry up and quickly do is collect my workbench back. Hurry up, hurry up. There we go. I'm going to come into my little hidey hole here. I'm going to select the torch and put it on my hotbar. I'm going to drop a torch. I'm going to put one right here. There we go, we got some light. And that's going to prevent enemies from spawning in that particular area. But I still need to move a little bit faster and create a more of a, a safe area. There we go. Still beating a little way in. And just to make sure monsters don't spawn in here, because they will spawn in here. If you're not careful, I'll put a torch there. And I'm going to take some of these stone blocks and block off the way in. That way they can't get to me. So, now the monsters can spawn out there and I'll be safe in here. But skeletons can spawn and they have arrows. So they can shoot through this little area here. So you want to try and be safe from that. But anyway, I'll come and step in here. And now I've, I'm fairly safe in here and the night lasts about seven or eight minutes. And the reason I leave this little window open instead of doing like, you can do this if you want. And that'll make you almost completely safe. This will make me completely safe by putting a torch there. So now there's no way enemies can spawn, and I'm completely safe in here while the outside world is being ravaged by the undead or whatever. <laughs> um, but I like to be able to see what's going on outside. So there's that. I'll be able to take a peek outside, and my torch will keep me safe from enemies spawning directly in front of me. And th like I said, this area looks pretty good because of the way it dips down, so enemies that have to get to me will have to fall down into there. And uh, I don't see any bad guys out there yet. And I don't really want to see any because that sounds kind of scary. But while we're in here, um, I'm going to take my crafting bench. Just drop it here. I can hear water out there. And now that I'm in here, uh, I'm going to take the resources that I've gathered during the day. I'm going to right click my crafting bench. And I'm going to create another pick because actually, I'm going to create a different pick. You see the little red line underneath the mining pick? That's its durability. It probably has one more use. It's a wooden tool, and wooden tools uh, degenerate quickly. So I'm going to create a different. Uh, here we go. I'm going to create a different tool. This time I'm going to use these stone blocks, and that's going to create a, an, a stone pick. So there we go. There's my stone pick. Um, take my wooden one. Stone picks are better at mining and they uh, last longer so I've got a stone tool now. Also I'm gonna take some more sticks here and uh, I'm gonna create a handle with the sticks and at the top here I'm gonna create a shovel. Uh, I don't know what shovels are used for yet but I saw one made in a tutorial so I'm gonna make that just for safety's sake. And if I take another set of stone I can create a stone sword. So I'm gonna create a stone sword here. So now I have a, a, a means to defend myself. And I have my first little area here where I can survive if I'm careful. Now, if I was really bold, I'd step out there. But I'm just going to sit in here and wait out the night. And I believe my YouTube 10-minute limit is about to be, uh, sorry, not 10-minute limit, but 15-minute limit is about to be hit. Uh, anyway, this is where I'm going to remain and stay safe. I'm going to create uh, more of these Minecraft videos because this is fun. Like I said, you... Uh, it may not be your cup of tea, but if it is, let me know. Let me know what you think of this video, guys. Um, you can do a lot in this game. You can do a whole, whole lot in this game. So if you have any suggestions on what you want to see me build, because I can build a lot of different things, uh, or if you, what you want to see me do in this game, let me know. Uh, ask questions, uh, give me suggestions on what you want to see, and we'll go from there. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.